Many people believe that EV are the future and combustion engines are out the door. I can see the pros and the cons to having an EV, but I'm not so sure they're the future. As a matter of fact, I'm not really affirming or a believer in that. Nor do I think National Fire Protection Association or the National Traffic Safety Board agrees with that either. And I'm going to tell you why there's been a large focus around Tesla car fires lately. Now, we all know the combustion engines catch on fire as well. As a matter of fact, in 2018, the National Fire Protection Association had reported 181,500 vehicle fires. Now, the vast majority of them were gasoline and diesel-powered engines. But that doesn't mean that the EV weren't catching fire either. The only difference is the EV fires are far more dangerous. Now, the National Traffic Safety Board has addressed EV fires back in January, reporting a few main safety issues, and the most recent Tesla fire exemplifies these concerns. Now the first thing that the National Traffic Safety Board is concerned about is a lack of emergency response lines and safety standards in the high-voltage lithium battery systems, especially during high-speed crashes and high-severity crashes. They pose a very high electrical shock risk to the emergency responders. There's also the thermal runaway problem, which, if you don't know what that is, increases the temperatures of the fire due to what they call an uncontrolled positive feedback loop from the batteries. Long story short, the batteries caused a hotter burning fire, not only making it more dangerous, but also much harder to control and put out. The most recent Tesla fire we're talking about was caused by a lack of responsible use of the Tesla autopilot feature. Now, some believe that the autopilot feature literally means the car will drive itself and you don't have to be behind the wheel. That is not the case, although the owner of this particular Tesla thought it was. Now with all that being said, the car crashed into a tree, caught fire, and first responders took several hours to put this intense fire out and had to use 30,000 gallons of water to keep the batteries from reigniting. The lithium batteries used in EV are different than say, the lithium batteries that are going to power your laptop and smartphone and things like that. The solutions inside of those batteries have an organic solution and inorganic salt, which makes them have a poor thermal stability, which are completely different than EV batteries, which are far more combustible and far more unstable. This creates more oxygen, which also creates more fire, which creates more heat, making it a lot more dangerous for firefighters and first responders. Now, several automakers, such as BMW, have already started recalling EV due to the severe safety issues and are going to try to find a solution to them. The National Traffic Safety Association had opened an investigation in reports of spontaneous battery fires in the Chevy Volt. Now, in short, each manufacturer is going to take their own individual steps to resolving this problem, making the cars much safer for first responders and owners alone who may get into accidents with these EV. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I can see the pros and the cons that I have in an EV, but as of right now, I don't feel that the EV are not only stable enough in their own manufacturing, but I also don't feel like the world is ready for a complete EV takeover. Yet, there are still steps that need to be taken much like this one in regards to safety and fire hazards. So I'm sure each manufacturer is going to do what they got to do to get those safety standards in check in order to bring you a safe and fun driving experience. Electric cars are the future, and each year, we've seen automakers add more EV to their lineups. Everyone is working on electric vehicles, from well-established existing manufacturers to new names such as Byton, Canu, and Rivian. The era of electric cars isn't coming, it's already here. Though they still make up a small portion of the new car market, EV are where the action is when it comes to the exciting realms of vehicular development. No longer are they battery-powered compliance cars or subcompact shuttles for the crunchy granola set. So leave your comments down below. What you think of the EV, what are your pros and cons to them? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Is the world ready for them? Make sure you drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and please click the subscribe button for more technology automotive news and content and I'll catch you in the next episode.